Some days are better than other days, and today's a day that's probably going to be the type of day that's a really nice day. By design, that was supposed to not make sense. So, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the video. Welcome back to the Tesla Model S Plaid. More importantly, I got receipts today, baby. What are we talking about? Well, ignore that. It seems in the last video that I may have confused some of you. A few things to clear up and just some other things to get into. Oh, gotta just turn that down. You can actually just adjust everything that way or if, if you put it in auto it'll it'll make it go up make it go down whatever faster faster higher hotter colder lower whatever or if it's not in auto you could still swipey swipey up here but if you are out of that you can swipey swipey just like so right pretty cool pretty cool i love this car while on that subject there's a few things i do want to get into regarding that and also i want to clear some things up from the last video that we posted about the plaid being like worth 90,000 less. The Model S Plaid is just absolutely bonkers. It's just crazy how it accelerates. I think I'd almost have to have you in the car with me. It has this supercharger whine. Uh, you gotta remember, we got we got three carbon fiber woven motors. It's been in at 24,000 RPMs. It's 24,000 RPMs. That's almost three times as much the RPMs of a Porsche 911. And yeah, from the outside, it doesn't sound as good. Preach this till the day I die. The Model S Plaid is a for you car. It's not a car where I'm gonna enjoy it with other people. It's a very selfish vehicle. And you kind of have to understand that. And I think that's why it gets people so mad because it's just so cool and so fun. And people see that you love the car and <laughs> they end up, all they get is just, it's just a, a, a soundless car from the outside flying by and that's that's all that's all they got freaking ecstatic because there's some silt fence up on the side of here this is a road that i tend to frequent and it's just crazy there's wetlands to the left and right and the cool thing about it is it hasn't been paved well that actually isn't really cool i think they're finally paving it that's nice because that was bumping we got air suspension but once we get in other cars mm, mm, mm. and on that note on this piece of paper i have some vital information that uh i just want to clarify stuff with you i couldn't film the last scene because i went to Something that rhymes with a pudding page. I hate to submit to YouTube. I have a W-2 job. I get paid an income and then I have YouTube. Did have a business in the past prior, sold it. I want to take this a lot more seriously because seeing what, what this YouTube channel could make where I'm just kind of messing around, just having a lot of fun with it. I want to have more fun with it, but in a much more managed and measured strategic manner. Some things we'll probably see in the future on the channel is me using more colorful vocabulary that children can also listen to. That way you don't have to shut these videos off because I've, had, I've seen lots of comments about that. And I hear you guys, you know what I mean? There's a lot more of you on the channel now. We're almost at 70,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Like, yo, that, that actually is, that's killer. I didn't even think we'd get that much. We got over 100K on Instagram now. Follow on Instagram if you want live updates too. Ooh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So I wanted to go into a few things about this car and ask y'all some questions. So pay attention and listen here. Papa Matt is about to explain. I actually have two different forms. It doesn't really matter. These are both just payments. So something to clarify. I'm in the United States. Something else to clarify. The Model S Plaid is finance. I bought it. I financed it for under 2%. 1.89% was the rate. Why would I not let that go? Why would I pay the car off if I could? That rate's so cheap. It's so low. The Model Y we paid off, that was a $60,000 loan. It would have been, I think, I think like 7,000 in interest if we didn't pay it off. And it ended up being like a 50, I want to say like a $54,000 loan. Plus, mind you, the tax credit and everything. I try to be strategic with everything we buy. I try to sift through things where I can avoid, like I say, depreciation like the play. If you can lean into your advantages, especially your financial advantages, you can end out on top and if you just keep doing that it's like a combat multiplier you know what i mean i just want to kind of be clear with that and, and just point that out the plaid's negative equity i love the car instead of all the cars i've owned that is my favorite car i was just talking over with a couple people a couple friends and whatnot the other night and they're like why don't you put more of the other cars that you've had on instagram well recently sold everything properties cars whatever i'm not rich by any means i'm a regular dude i work for a construction company in the gas industry do you like the plaid does the plaid tickle your fancy? Do you want more videos on the plaid? Because I'm contemplating, and we can go into these ideas if you're negative equity on a car or whatnot. And, and what we bought it at is a moot point, but it's more more what it's worth and what we owe on it. So super cheap. I think I pay about two thousand two thousand dollars twenty four hundred one hundred eighty two dollars a month goes toward interest. 
that's not even 200 bucks a month. And I know what you're saying. Some people think that's, you don't even want a car payment that much. Dave Ramsey would be turned over in his grave if he was dead, but he's still alive. So you can't do that. The plaid is, and by, for all intents and purposes, the funnest, most appropriate, classiest, just coolest, most low key, understated, selfish car you can own. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Promise we're gonna fix that, especially if I do end up selling it. And that's what I wanna ask you guys. Do you think we should sell it? Should we get something cooler? Would you like to see this? And maybe we'll do a little super, super car shopping type deal, but what do you wanna see? Do you wanna see more videos of the plan on the channel? Or do you wanna see so many uh, where I beat it like a dead horse? Or should I? Let me ask you that. Should I be selfish and say, screw it and not do it for YouTube, not do it for the videos, not do it for the sake of the audience, you guys, you know, if, if you care. Or should I appropriate something that's a little more fun, a little more all-inclusive that everyone can enjoy? Personally, I think the Plaid's been great. It's served its purpose. We have the Model Y, that's paid off. I think we could look into something just to switch it up. We can always hop back into a Plaid for 30 grand in the next two years if we wanted to. And I'm not saying I'm gonna do this, so if you're like gung-ho plaid, don't unsubscribe because of that. We're giving away a car at 100K subscribers or $1,500 cash, whichever the person wants. A manual Gallardo, a V10 R8, a Hellcat Red Eye or Hellcat Demon or anything of that sort, some type of V8 manual Hellcat. I just, I kind of want another manual car in the family and I'm, I'm not dead set on it, but hear me out. And this is something you can kind of use as leverage in the future for yourself too. The plaid, absolutely can be rolled into a lease. And why would I lease something? I'm giving a lot of I'm giving a lot of food here for the trolls, but I could roll it into a lease and if I lease something that negative equity would just poof disappear depending on what the money factor is, which is uh, the interest rate, money factor times like 2400 is your interest rate, depending on the rate, depending on that, it could effectively lower the payment of this. And that's not really the goal. We are trying to build another house, trying to build a larger house. Me and my fiance recently got engaged, testing out wedding bands right now not officially married yet but look i'm just i'm just throwing the idea out there I'm kicking it back and forth with you guys what you think to get into the payments because i don't want to just put it at the end of the video this is july's payment and i have june's here too i could show you this but there's a lot of work of me editing certain things out i don't want to give you my address or account number or anything like that it's actually dangerous that i'm just even holding this right so Here's the thing, we owe, I bought the Plaid for 150. I got it confused, I thought this was paid off, but the Model Y was. Um, the Model Y is paid off, that was about a $60,000 car roughly. This was 150, we owe, well for this, in June, $92,000, because the payments were $22,43.90 a month. And that's with a principal of $2,000, finance charge of, to 180. So here's here's the thing, my friends. Every month I make a payment, that principal goes up 40 more dollars and the finance charge drops a little bit. It's roughly about that. So here's the thing is 2240 plus insurance. I'll make a separate video on insurance because I want to pack it all in one video. Insurance isn't too bad. We'll get into it. It's very similar in both cars. That's for certain reasons and various other variables, various variables, right? For various variables, I'm done. Listen, do you want to see a manual Gallardo? Do you want to see, I think something manual is the only thing I would replace the Plaid with. Do you want to see, I don't want to do another C7 Z06. That was really cool, but it's served its purpose. I've really loved it. I've really enjoyed it. There's some videos I missed making. All the Porsches, that McLaren, I've had a McLaren in the past. I've had Ferrari in the past. Do we want that stuff on the channel? Because I think in my heart, I'm more of a Lamborghini fanboy. I'm more of a Lamborghini lover. I've had a Gallardo. We have some autocross videos. If you go way back, if you go into the channel, go to oldest and click on that. We have some videos of that. Back when I didn't know how to make a YouTube video, I still don't. I'm an idiot, but I'm, I'm working with what we got. I might switch back to the DSLR. I've been doing this for convenience purposes on the iPhone, plus the camera on the iPhone's been getting killer, killer good. I don't know what to do. I'm leaving it up to you. It's in your hands. Let's have a vote. Comment down below what you think we should do, what you'd want to see. I'm definitely gonna, you're definitely gonna have extreme heavy consideration by what you guys say. So it's super hot out here. I'm gonna cut this video short pretty soon, but 
the final amount we owe is right now in August, another 2000, roughly around $88,000. So that leaves about another like three years of payments ish. Uh, you tell me what you think you would do. I love the plaid and I'm totally going to miss it. <laughs> it just, just thinking about driving it. It just makes, it's just so cool. I wouldn't be mad if we got a manual Gallardo V10 R8. I don't know. We got options. We got options. So let me know what you think. I also think we're about to extend that garage. So <laughs> if, if we, uh, if we do, because we're really minimizing here, we're going fully liquid because I just feel like it's a good thing to do. Um, plus, yeah, a lot of information. If there's anything I missed, I feel like this is kind of scattered. I'm kind of in a, a rush today, but look, I want to put more effort and time into some of this stuff for y'all. I really enjoy making the videos and I'd love to double down on it. The shorts are cool. The shorts are really fun, but I just, man, the plaid content, it, it feels like home but it also feels like it's been beaten like a dead horse. There's a few more videos I can make. I just don't want to regurgitate things. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Just do me one thing, right? Looking good. Don't die. <laughs>